Hi and welcome to Little Bits Honey Bee's YouTube channel. I'm Skinny Bee Man. This is November 3rd. Uh, towards the end of next week, it's supposed to start turning off pretty nasty. So, this is a beginner series. We're going to, uh, this will probably be the last episode. Uh, what we're going to do, we're going to put a sugar sugar on these, uh, and I'll demonstrate the, the mouse guards, but I'm not going to put them on today. But You typically don't put the mouse guards on until they stop flying, and so far they're still flying three or four days a week. It's uh, 52 degrees a day, sunny, a little bit of a breeze, not too much. I use... I've made these uh, baskets just out of wire. It's not necessary, but I like to set, put the sugar in this and put that in there. That way if I get a warm day in January and I want to check on the hive, I can go in there and pull this basket off and get it. If you just put newspaper on top of the frames and the sugar on that, it all busts up. You can't get it back in. It falls down in the hives. This is just for convenience, but it's not necessary. You can put it right on top of the frames. It works just fine. I got a veil on today. This late in the year, uh, the bees can get a little protective of the stores. You'll need to build a two two inch shim. This gives you your height your sugar to sit on top of the thing. I like when I'm doing this, I like to get everything ready. That way I'm not in the hive very long. Just take a newspaper. Don't use the shiny colored print. You can use color print but it can't be don't, not the shiny. You basically just open a bag of sugar. Now some people feed fondant and everything and make uh, candy boards in the house and dr dry them and all that. And that's alright if you got five or ten highs, but if you don't, you got a lot of highs, it takes too much time. Okay, I guess we're ready to, to do this hive. There's not a whole lot to it. Just pop the lid. Kind of get a look, see where the cluster's at. Set the sugar basket on it. And a shim. Now, the important thing is not to uh, shut all your ventilation off. The type top feeder is ventilated. You need a vent at the top of your hives, which we'd already talked about of some sort. If you ain't got a vent, you got to put it in this shim. If you got high top feeders, I got vents in here. It vents up. <clears throat> if you put sugar on there with just newspaper on top, don't. Put it all the way around. Leave the ed all the edges open for ventilation. There. That hive, I'll put some black paper on this hive later, which I showed you in another video. Uh, just kind of get the solar warm mainly. That's what that's all about. Uh, I think that's it on that. This will probably be the last series on the beginner series. 
unless we get a warm day in January and we just want to pop in there and check on them. Kind of get a little closer here. Okay. For mouse guards, I just simply use a half inch hardware cloth and cut it right against the bar. It's a little bigger than 3 8 actually opening because a half inch is from center of wire to center of wire. There's always a possibility that a mouse could get in there. So I cut right against the bar, set them bars, line them up so that most of the opening is there, whatever size opening you got. Take a staple gun, 3 8 half inch staples, put a staple on each side. That's simple mouse guard pulls off easy in the spring. You don't really have to worry about mice until your bees stop flying and then the mice will move in and take over and they'll, they'll destroy a hive. As you can see today, the bees are working pretty hard. We got I don't know, 100 gallons of feed out up there, open feed for them. Just give you a look at. Now, this is just extra pollen I'm feeding them. They've got uh, pollen feeders, five of them in the yard. Here's one little girl, look at her pollen sack. She's just absolutely full. Get around there. They're collecting it. And this time of year, there's nothing for them to get. Everything's had killer frost and everything's about done. This series this year, I hope that uh, you guys learned something. I've tried hard to give informative information and accurate. Uh, sometimes I forget things. Like I, a guy messaged me the other day, asked me when I started feeding my... Uh, uh, tea tree oil mix for the fall. Well, I've been feeding it for three weeks. I just failed to tell you guys. Uh, kind of helps with the nosema. It's it an antibacterial, antifungal deal. And uh, I've got videos out there on the recipes for the different uh, essential oils. But I'm basically not feeding anything on the high top feeders now. It's all open feed. They come out and get what they can get. I don't want the moisture on top of the hives. So you guys have a great winter. I hope you, your bees do well through the winter. Hope my bees do well through the winter. Uh, we'll off and on do some videos this winter just to kind of keep keep in touch and keep things going a little bit. Won't be near as many as they are in the in the spring. Got a pretty big agenda next year and. We'll try to do some, maybe mini-series, four or five week series on different things. And uh, if you got any ideas that you want for videos, uh, I've got some people uh, already told me a few. I've got them wrote down on a notepad in there for ideas, what you really need, want to know, something uh, like that. We may do a couple Facebook live chats this winter just to... For any questions you guys have got, uh, we probably open up sales on nukes and queens packages probably into December, 1st of January. Try to get everything to bed and have a little bit of a break. And we'll see you guys later. Thank you.